here is a day of tradition that starts with the parade of the apple cart when crab apples are distributed to the crowds. Climbing the greasy pole is a slippery test of skill that was part of the fairground fun long before automation whirled us off our feet. Here's another contest that's an ancient part of the crab fair celebrations. Gurning, the art of pulling funny and ugly faces. They say they've held regular gurning contests in Egremont since 1267. Wrestling is a more energetic way of reviving the past. And if wrestling doesn't knock the breath out of you, you can enter the pipe smoking contest for a high speed huff and puff through a pipe full of backy until you're all puffed out. Crab Fair is also very much of a sports day, and it's not only wrestling that draws the crowds and the competitors. The highlight of the day is the North's own popular brand of racing, so place your bets for a dog race with a difference. Hound trailing. Hound trailing is a bloodless sport with a large following in this part of the country. The hounds are specially bred to follow a trail which is laid for a distance of up to 10 miles and consists of a mixture of aniseed, turpentine and paraffin. Once the smelly brew is laid, they are off on the scent. Compared to some of the facets of the crab fair, hound trailing is a youngster. It was first invented by huntsmen just over a century ago. But unlike some of the traditions, it isn't only sentiment that keeps hound trailing alive, for this sport is spreading. Old customs, it seems, like those proverbial old soldiers, never die.